Hello and welcome to Waterdog Photography Blog. I'm Brooke Peterson. Today I'm going to show you how to process images in Lightroom to make them black and white images. When you import your images from your camera into Lightroom, they come in in color. But Lightroom has a place in the develop module where you can make these images black and white. And you can play with the images and the color in the images to make them a more striking or a more uh, contrasty black and white if you would like to. So you will go to the develop module once you have pulled up your picture and go to the basic panel. Click on the basic panel on the down arrow and you will see at the top the treatment is either for color or for black and white. So I have chosen this image because there's a lot of contrast in the fish already and more contrasting images make better black and white pictures. So I'm going to click on black and white and you can see that it takes all of the color out of the image. Now that alone would be okay but there are definitely other things that you can do with this image. So I'm not going to change the, the temperature or the tint or anything like that. I could change the exposure. Any of these things that are in the basic module I could change. I'm going to leave the exposure where it is. Um, I could make it more contrasty or less. I could also dampen down the highlights or I could bring the highlights up which I may do a little bit on the highlights. And then the shadows, I can darken down the shadows or bring them up also, which also creates more contrast in the image. I could just use the contrast slider at the top. The whites I can add or take down and the same with the blacks. And these are all basic things that I could do with the image. I can improve the clarity of the image as well. And that would be fine. Um, but if you look at the color image, you can see there are a lot of colors in this image. Up here there's some yellow and some green in the stripes of the fins. Back here there's a deep blue background. There's a lot of red and maybe even some purples here in the, in the middle of the fish. And those are the tones that I would like to play with in black and white. So I'm going to go back to the black and white panel, or to the basic panel, and click on black and white. And then I'm going to change to the HSL color black and white module. So I'm going to click on that. I'm automatically in black and white because in the basic panel I've told this I've told Lightroom that I want to work on a black and white image. So in the black and white I have all of the color channels that I can work with to change the colors, uh, the, the way that the, the colors show up in black and white on this fish. Now I said that there was some red in the fish. Watch what happens if I darken the red down and watch what happens as I lighten the reds in the image. It's kind of subtle but you can see here along here in this fin you can see the most change. That's where the red in the picture is. Now orange, there was some orange in this fish as well. If I darken it down you see a little bit over here and the fins disappear or they get darker or I can lighten it up. For now I'm going to lighten up the colors because I want the blacks to be very black and the whites to be very white. I want a lot of contrast in this picture. So I'm going to bring the yellow up. You can see the color here or the, the whites come up here. The green, I remember there being some green up here in the fins, so watch what happens there. You can see that lighten up. You can also see a little bit in the background as well. Now remember that there was blue back here. If I were to pull the aqua and the blue all the way up, that's going to turn white or it's going to lighten up quite a bit. I don't like that very much. I would like just the fish to stand out. So on the blue channel, I'm going to darken those blues down. I still want to see his tail, but I want the, the blue as dark as I can as I can get it. And the same with the aqua. Aqua is usually a, in, mixed in with the blues too. And you can see as I move it back and forth, those highlights behind the fish, I'm going to darken them down. 
by removing the aqua or darkening down the aqua in this channel. Uh, there may be a little bit of purple, just a little bit in the body of the fish and the magenta as well, a little bit in the body again. But by playing with these color channels, now this is pretty drastic. I have moved, I've moved them all the way up high on the most of the colors, and the aqua and the blue I've moved down. If I move the blue all the way down, though, the fish's tail disappears, so I want to leave some of that blue in there. Um, but it's more to show you what you can do with the color channels to change the look of, of the subjects that you have. There's one other thing that you can do with the black and white. You can go to the tone, uh, excuse me, the split toning. When you go to the split toning module, you have highlights and you have shadows. And if I want certain colors uh, in the image, not totally black and white, maybe I want it a little bit of a sepia tone, or maybe I want it a little bit of a, a blue tone to get lend it cooler, um, I can take the saturation. I'm going to bring it all the way up at first. So the slider comes all the way up so that I can see the color. And then let's say I wanted blue, so I'm going to come over to where I find a nice blue shade. You can see the shade up here. And then I might bring that saturation down so that it's just slightly blue. Uh, I, since this is a uh, highlights, so this is the white parts that are showing up blue. Now the dark parts would be the shadows. And maybe I want to have a, a tone in those as well, which is why it's called split toning. I can have color in the light and color in the dark. I could do the same blue if I wanted to, saturate it all the way up, or maybe I want a different color in the blue. Maybe I want green, or let's try something that's completely, let's try the red in the shadows. I'm going to bring the saturation all the way up in the blue so that you can see the blue in the fish. Or maybe a uh, yellow would look a little better. A yellow fish with a red background. There are just some things that you can play with, and it doesn't have to be this drastic. It can certainly be um, subtle if you just wanted to have a slight tone to your images that says it's cold. So in this case, I'm putting the blues, but I'm saturating them just a little bit so that they just have a little bit of a, a bluish tone to them. Or maybe I want to uh, warm it up some, so I bring it into the the yellows or maybe the oranges to give that sepia tone. So those are some things you can do with split toning um, and a black and white image. So I hope you have enjoyed this short tutorial on how to play around with your images in black and white. Remember that whenever you're working with an image, it should have a lot of contrast in the first place in, other, in order to make a good black and white image. I'm Brooke Peterson, and this is Waterdog Photography Blog. If you have enjoyed this, please visit my blog at waterdogphotographyblog.com or watch my other videos here on this YouTube channel.